What? Yeah, we gotta wait. Yeah, I gotta turn us. How down? No, turn us up now a bit. Up a bit? Just a bit. Like there. There should be good. Yeah, because I turned the desktop audio up because of. Uh, because you know. of because of sound. Right. Sure, sure. Hold on, I'm gonna. Let me see if I can uh, mess with the color of our lights a bit. We're very we're very blue. I know, I know. This. I think there's a problem with the white balance. Huh? I think it's a white balance issue. It still oh, looks. Oh, I'm sure. It's fine. Huh? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, do we look? Do we look slightly better now? I want Transformers noises back. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, come over here. You. Too much. Too much. Right. Come over here. You. The, the, the comedy rule is threes. Come over. What look, you... I can't get it over to the big screen. Well, I'm sorry. There we go. I just wanted to make it bigger to see if I can uh, to see if we looked uh, terribly blue still. No, we look good on the screen. Okay, great. Yeah, then we're fine. Our lights now are very orange, but that'll be fine. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Did you change Chatty to what game we're playing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Here, let me. Let me, well, let me oh, let me oh sorry, sorry. You do it. And you know what? I have a whole mouse pad over here that I'm not using. I'm using the couch cushion like an asshole. Shatty, back up in the right <clears throat> Hi. Spots. Welcome, everyone. Sorry for the lateness. We were we just got done filming an episode. Yeah. And um and it. Time flew by. We talked. We talked about uh, about Friday the Thirteenth for about an hour, and uh, we were not necessarily prepared for that. So, hi, Wolfenstein. We are playing the Wolfenstein. Look, look, Jim and Colin were in town, so obviously. We filmed nothing but those few joke videos. Nothing else. You filmed nothing else at all. Okay, here we go, Wolfenstein. Yeah, none of your, none of your presets are set right. Oh, I know. I, it's going to take a little bit uh, to, uh, to adjust everything for the new mouse. I, I asked beforehand, and I'll, I'll ask again. Um, I asked beforehand whether you wanted me to start new... Or pick up where my pick up new. Was. I I yeah, it's been such new. a long freaking week for me. My brain sure. is fried. Okay. Oh well, yeah. And for the chat too. Like, do you want to see the game from the start? Um, I'm gonna probably skip cutscenes. There are a lot of cutscenes. Yeah. By the way, um, whoever recommended this game to me forgot about all the goddamn cutscenes because Jesus H. Crisp, there's a lot of cutscenes. Jack has played this a little bit. I am I am going to probably this weekend. Yeah, I play I have been playing this and you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Got to change some key bindings though. All right, reload. You go here. Oh, is that R already? Nice. No, that is N. Okay. Let's see here. Look left. Uh, all right, next weapon, previous weapon, great jump. I like. Oh, that's already space. Great sprint. I like. Richie will love and be good at this. That's that's fine. It's just right now, I, it's we, there've been some marathons over here at uh, RLM headquarters. Y you've been working all week. All week you've been working. Oh, Skype, Skype just sent me a notice to say I can send all of the cat photos I want. That was a, that was a worthy use of my attention. Well, great. I mean, now you know you can send all those cat photos. How do you turn this? Sh ah, fuck it. Fuck it, stupid action center horse shit. Great. Uh, oh, here we go. Use. We need to. We need to change to something like this. Oh, nope, nope. Nope, that was a wrong button. Chat, the wheel is never put to good use. We 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 do have an amazing movie to talk about, and an amazing filmmaker. 
But I can't. Oh. I can't even. I can't. I'm not telling. No, you, you can't spoil. You can't spoil. I, we did this experiment with the wheel. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it didn't work out so well. You know, I, I'll trust you guys with something. See if you can hold on to it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I would have. I would have disclosed what what the film was. They could watch it ahead of time and be ready. That's right. No. You tried. You tried. No, you, you, you you're all them. fucking blabber mouths. You gave them a little piece of information to see if they blabbed, and they blabbed. And now, oh, we have got some juicy dirt. There's some juicy shit. Something you guys are gonna eat the <laughs> shit out of, and we can't tell you because you've ruined it. You've ruined it all. Okay, so this is use throw grenade. What do I want throw grenade as? I throw grenades a lot. Okay. Great. It's not Neil Breen. Oh. You already fucking know about Neil Breen. Oh, you wish it was Neil Breen. This this is something brand spanking new. Holy f. Oh yeah, we want to. We also want to get a little wider. A little bright, yeah, a little brighter maybe, and go to up to 85. It, it has nothing to do with Neil Breen. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I wish we could tell you. I wish we could, tr you know what? I, ri I wish we could trust you enough to tell you. You guys see this is the difficulty level? Yeah. Can I play daddy? That's a throwback. Is it? From the the original. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. You know, this is something I was experiencing at, at home, and I just thought it was my weird mouse. It almost seems like the mouse has a delay. That one's... Oh, that could be related to V-Sync. V-Sync. Turn V-Sync off. All right, hold on. Hold on. Also, that's got a sensitivity button right under the mouse wheel. Oh, yeah? If it feels sluggish, just hit that. Uh, hold on. V-Sync disabled. M or mouse acceleration, they're saying. Which is probably in controls. Uh, mouse smoothing is off. Mouse sensitivity is kind of where I had it at home. Okay. Okay. So, let me see here. Yeah, this feels better. Did you hit that button under the I wheel? I did. I hit it once. Okay, yeah. I hit it once, and yeah, this feels a little bit better. You know what, we'll try it if, if I'm if I'm losing. Basically what I'm saying is if I lose, I'm blaming the mouse. So, heads up. All right, I, I did bring him on. This is medium difficulty. I might be able to handle hard difficulty, but, you know, we're just going to try to make it through. So. Oh, thank you, Hackbot. Yes, this is my nunchuck controller, the Frag Shark. Actually, someone very recently recommended this guy. The, uh, the grifter? Someone recommended the grifter to me, and I do not like it at all. What's wrong with it? Uh, what's wrong with it is where my thumb naturally lands is on the buttons, not on the joystick, and so it's like it's an extra reach. It has a lot more buttons than, than my... Frag chuck. Than my frag chuck, which is great. But you don't like the control knob. I don't like the knob, and it only has two buttons on the back here. Yeah. A trigger, and, and actually, it's, it's kind of clever. Like, you push forward to press a button. Yeah, but awkward, and you can't hit them both at the same time. Like, you need to run and jump. Like, if I need to run right, and jump, right. like I can do with my frag chuck. So, you know what? But it was a decent price. Oh. <laughs> Continuity was what's the deal here? Is this a total reboot? I have no idea. I have no idea. Or did the original Wolfenstein happen for what it's worth? <laughs> po quite po Oh, uh, did he tell me to do something? Probably. Oh yeah. He did. I remember this cuz I played this already. All right. I go to the tool Nope. Where's the tool cabinet again? <sighs> Flyers. Doobie Sandwich says. Doobie Sandwich. Movies become video games, and video games become movies. Why is each medium following the wrong influences of the other? And are they better off being segregated? Oh, shit. They're probably better off being segregated, yes. As far as why they follow the other, um, I think movies are just being made 
increasingly more and more by a video by a generation who grew up on video games. Uh, what was the question? Um, movies become video games, and video games become movies. Why is each medium following the wrong influences of the other? It's it it has yeah it has nothing to do with the mediums following each other. It's the creators wanting to do something else. <laughs> right. Uh, oh nope, I'm in the wrong one. This one and it's it's key bindings that I want to be in. Some reason here. Hold on. Use K, but all K takes me out. Chat, that's a horrible quote to take out of context because you know damn well what I'm talking about. J? Okay, yeah, just K. Right. Anonymous says, Yeah. This is the water, and this is the well. Drink full and descend. The horse is the white of the eyes and dark within. Okay. Is that a... Is that probably a... Twin Peaks thing. Sure. Probably. Oh, that's... Oh, whoopsie. That's why what's going on. Okay. I know what's happening now. Everything's fine. Sorry, new controller. Or new mouse. I got it, you British fuck. Irish fuck. Chad, don't, don't spoil twin, twin Peaks for people. Yeah, I'm still gonna Come watch Come on! It. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be dicks. Stop yelling at me, I'm doing it! <laughs> Blaskowitz. Blastowitz. What a great name. It was related to Commander Keen. Okay. I believe he's Commander Keen's great grandfather or great grandfather. I don't know. In the Commander Keen games? I remember the Commander Keen games, yeah. Um and speculated to be related to the Doom Marine. <laughs> In the Wolfenstein uh, RPG game they did for Android, yeah, I know you end up fighting a demon near the end. Yeah, that that looks suspiciously like the Cyber Demon before it had its arm and leg amputated <laughs> by you in the Wolfenstein game. Interesting. Yeah. What? Shooting Nazis! Wolfenstein RPG? What? Yeah, it was an Android thing. I haven't played it, I just heard about it. Like a touch screen? Yeah. Oh, I died. They also made a two Doom RPGs for Android. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and does it look like the old first person shooter, but it's like. But, you know, it's, it's like those old dungeon crawlers where you move yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fun. Fun. Stream is down for you. Uh, sorry. Uh, re refresh your page. <laughs> You're, still breathing, you dumb imposter. <laughs> You're a jammy bastard. Dister says, "Good news, guys. Okay, back from my two-week vacation." Which means it's now okay for you to play Wandering Souls. I know you're excited. It's okay. So am I. That was an anime. Anime. Oh thing. yeah, that's not gonna happen. RCMCM. We we might play Hollow Knight as I picked up Hollow Knight uh, as part of the GOG okay. summer sale. Hollow Knight was ridiculously cheap. But Which one is Hollow Knight? Uh, that was the Metroid-ish one, but very cartoony. Okay. Jumping around, I remember like you were a bunny person. You said you said, "Oh, this is a game Jack would want to play." Okay. And okay. I said, hey, I don't know." R C M C M E eighty four says, "Finally yep. back to a stream after a month. 
Not much to say tonight other than here's some money and hope you have a good night. Thank you. We hope so too. Yeah, you know, I, I, so far tonight's going great. Today's going great. Today's a great day, Rich. We filmed an episode. I ate at a new ramen place for lunch. Yeah. There was a new, there's a new ramen place downtown. And so uh, for lunch, uh, the wife didn't have to work. And so, hey, we're like, hey, let's go out and be adults and do adult things. Let's go eat weird food. We're, we're spending an awful lot of time in this plane not shooting at Nazis. I know, I know. Wait till we get to all the cutscenes, man. And you know what? Like, I. Isn't I actually, that what this is? What? No, no, this is not a cutscene. This is this is technically story happening while I'm this in control. Is, no, but this I don't is, have anything to this do. This is technically a, a cutscene disguised as gameplay. Exactly. Let's not fucking. Let's not fucking put the wool over our own eyes. Come on. Technically speaking, I'm not leaving the game. Uh, we uh, a lot of cutscenes, and I enjoy the story overall. Just be, you know, yeah. the, you know, you join the resistance and alternate future, and oh shit, it's fun. It's cute, is what it is. Okay, so now we have to do this. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. I'm gonna die. Great. I forgot how to run and jump. It's fine. Uh, you know, it's it's alternate alternative future where the the Nazis win the World War Two. And then, you know, you fight with the resistance, and it's it's neat. It's a neat setting, but a ton of cutscenes. You know you know what that was? Huh. This is, you know what this is? What? This is a cutscene you can't skip. That's right. That's right. There we go. Now, the, and see, like, to me, like, this is tutorial, you know. They just taught me how to run and jump. This is how you this run is, and jump. This is why the new Spider-Man game looks terrible. As, as maybe it won't be. Maybe it won't be. Every oh. fucking boss fight's gonna be that shit. That horse shit. That steaming fresh horse shit. Yeah. Do or die, son. Same as always. Hoorah, sir. That's, that's right, motherfucker. Speaking of Spider Man, you know what I was reminded of today that I had forgotten about for a while? Hmm. Baghead Spider Man. Oh, the Fantastic Four outfit? Do you remember the, when remember his first that. symbiote and then they, they lend him a Fantastic Four outfit? Because he's got and, nothing to get home in, yeah. And put a bag on his head. And I was reminded of that and I go, you know, that was well, cute. Do you remember, you remember the, the, the other bit with that? With Johnny Storm? He put the stuck kick a kick me sign on his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Those when comics were fun. Yeah, I thought, you know what? I thought it was really cute. And so I looked it up and they, they actually released limited yeah. a bag head man Spider Man action figure. <laughs> Unfortunately, now it's like super expensive on eBay and stuff, but. But I was just re recently reminded of Baghead Spider Man, and man, oh man, what a neat thing. Yeah, hold on, here's what we gotta do we gotta slap this guy. Slap him, slap him. Wake up! Great, he's okay now. Everything's fine. Alright. Yes, every day ends with a Tums Festival. Rich, now that we're able to talk about it without spoilers, and for any jackass who got banned because they mentioned Tums Festival, you were warned plenty of times, you jackasses. Uh, now that we're able to talk about the Tums Festival, yeah. I mean, you messed up. Shit happens. You, you messed up bad, man. What do you want? Nothing. I just you want 100% perfection all of the time? I expect nothing less from you. You need to know that. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you, Rich. I thought that was very funny. I, I can only see funny. the future, Jack. I do not see the past. You're asking me about something that already happened in a movie. I have You're no right. idea. You're right. You're absolutely right. I skipped it. I skipped that goddamn cutscene. You know why? We were in the water and he was talking about war and war being heck. You know what war is, man? War is heck. No, knowing what happened, past tense in a movie? Yeah. That's your shtick, not mine, Jack. Ah, uh, that's true. You, if, you can tell you everything that happened. If I would have been there, Rich. What? Oh. If I would have been there, you would have you you would have been shut down before it could become a bit. Because you would have believed me, right? If I would have said no, he said it in the movie, you would have been like, okay, Jack has that superpower. I believe Jack. But you didn't believe Jay. Escape. I clearly remembered it being the samurai cop chief saying that. Obviously, I was wrong. 
Obviously. Oh. Bye. Brown Adam Sandler says. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> I don't name Sorry. him. I don't I name him. I just like it. Brown Adam Sandler. Netflix announced Choose Your Own Adventure Movies. What? Is that different from Telltale? Is there a line where something becomes a game? You often say something isn't a game, and does it even matter? Probably not, but who cares? Uh, you know, if it's a Choose Your Own Adventure movie, like then it's called something different, right? And the expectations are different than... Like, the Telltale games aren't called a Choose Your Own Adventure game. They choose the only adventure. They're, well, they're they're <laughs> ju they're just called games or you know story <laughs> games or whatever. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Having an actual like choice involved that would affect outcomes yeah. in wildly different manners. That'd be something. That'd be an actual choose your adventure. Telltale's is hit the X buttons until you get to the place where we're going, no matter what the fuck you do. I did him. I did it. I killed him. Flirty X says, hey yep. guys, I know everyone is excited about Summer Games Done Quick. Summer Games Done Quick. But I want to let everyone know that all summer long, the Final Fantasy V 4 job fiesta is running, where people play a modified Final Fantasy V for charity. Just that one game? God, that sounds miserable. My favorite bits from the games done quick marathons yeah. are the games you haven't heard of before. Like like at 4 a.m. and they're just playing weird shit. <laughs> like, like I didn't even know there was a Wayne's World game on the Super Nintendo and they're playing that. <laughs> You know what? I'll be with you on that. I did not know there was a Wayne's World game on the Super Nintendo. And, and somebody has mastered it just for the sake that it's not popular and nobody else is playing it and he could possibly get a world record doing it. Sure. And so that's the game they learned. Wait, what? What's grenades? Nope. Nope. That's knife. I want that to be grenade. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I don't. I currently don't have a grenade button, which is the wonderful thing about tutorial levels. Is they and, and when you're rebinding a lot of keys, it's like, mm. oh, I'm, I'm not in any danger right now, but I sure will need a grenade button. Uh, all right, key binding. The angry video game nerd reviewed that years ago. Well, I didn't watch that, so it was still new to me when I saw it on Awesome Games Done Quick. Okay, great. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, oh, excuse me, that was an ugly burp. Throw. Is Throw. the game's brightness a bit high, or is this how it's supposed to look? Oh, I might have accidentally turned up the brightness. So, you know what? Uh, and my key binding for grenade isn't working, so I will, I'll go change some things. I might have accidentally turned up... Oh, yeah, you know what? I turned up the brightness uh, when I meant to turn up the field of view. Let's turn it down to like. It's it's also tough to say because like the way it looks on the TV is slightly different than you guys see it, and so this should look all right for you. But for some reason, why am I not throwing grenades, Rich? Encephalopathetic says because you, because you're bindings. Encephalopathetic says, Rich and Jack, after your streams. I went and bought Friday the 13th. Hey, those are great games. Your Jason strats have helped me be an acceptable Jason. Hey, nice. But sometimes I can't catch that last counselor. Any tips, advice? <laughs> well, first things first. Uh, you might, unfortunately, be dealing with that guy. And that guy doesn't want to play the game. He's just a troll, and he's probably glitched on top of a roof or under a bridge oh, sure. or out of the map or somewhere else that is simply inaccessible by Jason. There are jackasses that do them and there are a lot of them, unfortunately. Huh. Uh, 
if it's somebody just legit hiding somewhere, uh, here's the strat. Don't underestimate fear. Okay? What 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 makes stealth possible is is basically not having fear. If you're if you're very brave, if your composure is very high, you're not going to show up on Jason's sense as as well. Like they're not going to show up bright red right. for you, which is going to make them insanely hard to find. So don't underestimate when you can't find that last person, just going around, just destroy all of the light generators, the electric boxes, get those lights off. Uh, that will slowly raise their fear, which will make them easier to find over time. So destroy the generators and then just keep teleporting around and keep, keep using your sense. Don't use it for long at a time. Just turn it on long enough to do a quick look around and see if anything red jumps out at you and then turn it off so you don't have to wait as long for the cooldown. Yep, there you go. You, that's a good strat. Those are my those are my strats. Well, and you know, also, yeah, keep keep a note of, you know, what what else important is left to uh sometimes though the last person is just going to be willing to settle for waiting it out. Yep. And they they could just be hidden really well. They might be on the edge of a map. Some people do that. They oh, don't yeah. hide in a building. They'll they'll go out to like the edge of the map somewhere. So don't don't neglect checking out of the way places that are in the middle of nowhere. That happens. Oh, absolutely. Right. Am I supposed to be down here? Still on last to lean down. I was bummed Friday the thirteenth wasn't part of the Steam summer sale. It it's too new. It's too new, and they've got people buying it for full price. It'll be on the next sale. <laughs> Swedish AI says, Hey guys, a bit sad. Sweden lost one of our more famous actors. Oh, oh yeah, that guy from the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo just died. Michael Niv Nivgvist, lung cancer, 56 years. Known intern for known intern for main bad guy in John Wick One. Still? Yeah, I am. Betty White is 95, and Mel Brooks turned 91 today. Mel Brooks turned 91. Yeah. That old bastard still kicking. Sometimes they are at, th at that age. That's a good sign. That's great. Good old Mel Gibson. You know, you know what was on at the ramen place? Mm. Blazing Saddles. Classic. Fine movie. That Blazing Saddles. Right there. There he is. You dickhead. Oh, you fucking dick. I'm gonna kill you. What is the best Mel Brooks movie? Have we had this discussion? We've probably had this the, discussion. Oh, there's. I mean, there's so many good Mel Brooks movies. Spaceballs. Yeah. Is up there. Uh, Blazing Saddles is up there. The Producers is fantastic. I don't, I don't know that I'm willing to say it's his best, but I think History of the World Part oh, 1 is so underrated. Good. That's <clears throat> so good. Jews in space! <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Uh, yeah, th I mean, there's so many good ones. How do, how do you even pick? All of them except for Dracula dead and loving it, basically? And do you just count his, like, directorial comedies? Like, there's shit he produced that you, like, I think it was, like, the executive producer on the fly, wasn't he? Elephant Man. Ele was it Elephant Man? He, he's, the, he's the executive producer of Elephant Man. Yeah. And, and of course, he wanted his name nowhere on yeah. it. Because oh, yeah, because he's a comedian. He's a famous comedian. He thought people would think it was a joke. I think, I think, it's, the fly. I think it's the same thing with the fly. Did he produce the fly? The Cronenberg fly, yeah. Chat. Is that true? Because that's amazing. Fuck. Where are you? I, I heard him talking about it, and I, I think the same thing came up in like an interview from like decades ago. Like, yeah, you don't want my name to be on, on that, you know. You don't want people to know that Mel Brooks was involved with the fly. Right. Dick. And Chad is saying it is true. That's amazing. Oh, he's so much cooler. He's so much cooler. <laughs> Get out of here, dog. Fucking Nazi dog. 
<laughs> Eat it, Nazi dog! You too, dickhead! Get out of here! Oh, shit. Shit, uh, shit. <clears throat> God, I suck. God, I suck! The blue prism says, funny how a couple of rabble rousers in chat can ruin shit for the rest of us. It's true. Don't hate us. Good to see you guys back after the Father's Day break. Once again, thanks for the good times. Oh, I, I don't blame all of you. And I know just one or two people who are going to be dicks when they want to be dicks. But I still can't tell you what movie we watched because of those one or two dicks. Yep. It, it wasn't just a test for you guys. Like, you know. It, yeah. It wasn't a test for anyone specifically. You're not a hive mind, I know that. Yeah. We've been back since Father's Day. We did last week Wednesday. I know, we, we took two Sundays off in a row. Oh, shit. God damn it. Yes, World War Z was written by Max Brooks, but the awesome book and not the schlocky movie. Who's coming back for the sequel to that? They just announced, they just announced like a big a good I, director and Brad Pitt's coming back for the sequel. I don't care. Isn't that crazy? I really don't care. Fantastic book. Yeah? Oh, I love World War Z. He also wrote the Zombie Survival Guide, which everyone thought was a comedy because he was Mel Brooks' son. And it's it's not. Right. What what makes the Zombie Survival Guide great is because, yeah, if, if zombies were a thing, this is what you would want to do. It's, it's written as practical advice. Speaking of sci-fi, we all know the Alien vs. Predator movies were bad. How mm -hmm. about Alien vs. The Thing? Well, The Thing would just win, like, really easily. Oh, yeah. That's kind of The Thing's thing. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. You're pretty liberal with your... Take all the things. Take all the things. Shit. Who's that? Some crackhead says, Thanks for the ha-ha funny giggles, boys. Ha-ha! You're welcome. Do-do-do-do-do. Ba-na-ba-na. Ba-na-ba. Chet's talking about defending your life now. And that is, that is an underrated movie. It's Albert Brooks movie with uh, Meryl Streep, I believe. Oh, yeah? about uh, the afterlife. Okay. He, he dies, and he doesn't quite go to heaven. He goes to this place where he's put on trial. But they, they put him up in a nice hotel while his life's being, like, judged. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, he's kind of pathetic, but, you know, he, he falls in love with Meryl Streep in this kind of, like, afterlife waiting area resort. And uh, she was just a complete fucking saint. When they, like, review his life, it's all it's just, like, pathetic shit. Oh. When they're going over her life, it's all, like, you know, she's rushing into burning buildings or saving drowning people. <laughs> Defending your life is awesome. I don't think Albert Brooks gets enough praise. He's a good, he's a, he's a funny guy. I like, I like the things he's done. do 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 a crouch and kill this Nazi. And that's that's the whole thing, because you know they're they're probably not going to end up going to the same place. Oh, <laughs> I mean it's true. It's, but, a, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. I like Albert Brooks. <laughs> Am I full? Dishter wrote, guys, guys, don't write off Wandering Souls just because of the anime graphics. The gameplay is solid Too bad. and it's similar to other games you've played in love. Too bad. I know you guys would like it if you gave it a chance. 
I mean, style's somewhat important, right? It's the thing you're looking at all game. It's the thing you're looking at all game. Kind of important. And I think we, I want to say, I just cut up a stream where we had this exact same conversation. And if there's any of that, like, anime bullshit cutscene where you're, oh, no, what's going on? We're done. Daddy, We're what are you watching? We're fucking done. Why is the video so yellow? That's that's what I'm reading. Because we overcompensated because we looked blue? Yeah. We did look blue. Oh, I think I can take that gun with me. J.R.R. Lovecraft says, So what was the clickbait drop-off over the weekend from Thursday to Monday? Worse than Batman v Superman? This RLM Transformers Canada Review Cinematic Universe is not off to a good start, I'm afraid. Uh, Why were people so pissed about what was very obviously a joke? People don't like jokes, Rich. Like, what? I, I don't understand what they're mad about. It's not how, Like, what are we cheating them out of? Uh, uh, an actual discussion of Transformers 5. We were never going to do that. Right. We did that for, like, the third one. After that, it's redundant. We were never going to do that. Yeah, and they're mad about that. And it's not like... It's not like they took time away from us doing other things. We've been filming like motherfuckers this whole... whole... Like, weekend, and then some. You know the, the 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 Jim and Colin Transformers 5 review? Yeah. All said and done, that took less than 45 minutes. Oh, I'd believe it. We shot, we actually, you know, shot the first part while waiting for Mike to show up. We, had, we weren't going to be able to do anything else anyway. Right. Waiting for Mike to show up. Mm -hmm. And then Jay literally edited, edited it while I was getting the wheel ready. Right. We're figuring out how to rig the camera. Right, but yeah, people no, people don't want that. They uh, they want <clears throat> uh, they want another fresh and funny analysis of what is now the fifth movie in a franchise. If if we didn't put those up, you know what else would have went up what? these last few days? Hmm. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. It would have been absolutely nothing else going up. No, the, the new wheel required a little bit of extra camera engineering. You'll you'll get it. Yeah, I and I. Uh, I, w I wish you guys would have called me on that. I I have a way simpler way to do that than, yeah. <laughs> than what you guys ended up doing. <laughs> Seeing the monstrosity back there. I hope you got plenty of behind the scene pictures. It's hilarious. I don't think we did. <gasps> oh, it's hel it's a hilarious and adorable. But I have a way easier way to do that. <laughs> so next time we do a wheel. Uh, I got the joke. It wasn't funny. Well, we were all laughing hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, eat that, suck -a duck <laughs> New gun. Do, 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 do. Can I take that? No. Yoink, yoink. Do, 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 do. Yoink. <clears throat> it's you know sometimes the jokes don't land just the repetition just <laughs> nope we're still doing it and see you know like i didn't i obviously i did not know that you guys were doing that yeah um and then and i was i was shooting all week i was i was busy all weekend and all of a sudden i look in my youtube feed and i see three videos for transformers 5 in my youtube feed and i go nope i know something's up 
after the first one, I don't understand why people didn't get it instantly that, no, this this next one also isn't going to be a serious video. Right? I mean, this is a freaking review episode. Do you think we're going to do Transformers 5, which is in theaters now? Oh, right. And then the Plinkett video shows up and you're just like, like anyone who didn't get it at that point. You're like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh. Come on. So. It's just a joke, people. These are the jokes. These are the jokes. Brown Adam Sandler says, Jack. Yes, Brown Adam Sandler. I had to tip again to thank you for your reactions to my name. I love it. I think it's hilarious. It may take some luster off of the name, but I chose it because I am from India and make bad jokes. I, oh, I think it's... No, that... See? I, that's all I wanted was a little backstory. Like, Brown Adam Sandler. Why? I loved it. No, I love your name. Never change. Never, never change. Did I take that? No, I didn't. Anonymous says, if you rank best of the worst episodes from your favorite to least favorite, what would be the median episode? What? what? The, what? the median. The I don't know, and that's the nature of being the median of anything. Yeah, yeah, man, that's a tricky, that's a tough question. Uh, no, I don't know. Sorry, dude. Daniel from SLs. Is, hey, how's it going? Hi. Loving good. the stream. It's going very well. You know what? It's going well. Wolfenstein. Had a question regarding the content on the prereq YouTube channel that caught my eye. Is it just me, or have you ever had a dream so real you just couldn't? You know what it might be? Oh, you know, I know what's going on here. I don't even understand the question. First of all. Have you guys been able to see us this whole time? Maybe. See which? Us. Second of all, you forgot to change the text. No, you didn't. You no, changed. I didn't. Never mind. Third of all, I think I know why the game looks this way. Sorry, I looked over at the game again and it's just like, what is going yeah, it's on? It's very bright. It's because the Friday the 13th game is very dark. So you cranked up the. Now our camera's going to be all fucked up. No, this is just the That's game. That's just this? Okay. That's why it looks so fucked up. And there. Now it should look more normal than it did. Your, so, your tips are working. I just can't read them that fast. As far as our camera is concerned. I mean, yeah, we just look yellowish and I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. That's just the way it is. Boo boom, boo boom, boo boom. Things are never gonna change. Boo boom, boo boom, boo boom. Guys like Biggie Smalls. I'm a fan. Uh, where am I going? This way. Anonymous says. Yeah, anonymous. Hi guys. Hi. I have to give a big speech at a conference tomorrow. Cool. Are either of you guys susceptible to stage fright? And if so, how do you deal with it? I'd say yes, though at, at this point I might not be as bad because I've been on camera so fucking much. But there was a time when the thought of anything in front of a crowd would be terrifying. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, I'd probably handle it a lot better these days. I, I, I really think you would, yeah. As far as how you handle it, I have no good advice for you. Other than just a grin and bear it, which isn't great advice, but it's all I got. <laughs> that is not great advice. No, it's not. I don't have any. Um, is this something you will have to do often? Die, Nazi scum! Do you, uh, do you feel like getting up on stage and giving presentations is something you will have to do often? If so... Ca camera is easier than crowd? Yes, 100% yes, but I can tell you this point, I've been on camera so much right now, the thought of being in front of a crowd doesn't instantly make me go, ugh. Right. That is gone. Uh, you know, the, o the only way to beat it is, is to do it as often as possible. And so if being in front of a, st being on stage is something that you foresee yourself having to do often, uh, the best thing to do is to fi find a, an activity where you get on stage often, like take an improv class or 
or, uh, or, you know, do something that puts you on stage often. And then you just, you just get over it by doing it. Mr. Steve Harvey Oswald says, I know you guys aren't fans of fighting games, but any thoughts on, on or plans playing Injustice 2? So many requests for Injustice 2. There's a lot of requests for Injustice 2. Uh, you know, maybe. I'm um, not against it. Yeah, pretty much. We don't... Here's the thing. We don't usually plan quite so much right. as... What are you in the mood for tonight? That's usually what happens. Usually. Right. When when we do plan, like... Like, I had a plan, uh, you know, I, I had one of three games I wanted to play tonight. I wanted to play ARMS. Wanted to play, uh... 3, 2, 1 grenades, and I wanted to play this, and then, you know, you guys decided for me, but yes, we know, we know we want us to play The Injustice, and here's the thing, as, a, as far as a fan service game is concerned, yeah, I've heard good things. I'd be more inclined, because I'm a bigger Marvel fan, to play Marvel vs. Capcom when that comes out, because I'm just a bigger Marvel fan, you know, mm -hmm. but, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, you limey bastard. Rewind Shocks says, Hi guys! I have 122 hours in Darkest Dungeon, and it's an amazing game. Yeah, I like Darkest Dungeon. All the preparation, synergy between classes, and difficulty is grade A. You should give it another try with the DLC out, F my C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of, they have a lot of uh, DLC out for it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. it. It became a bit too uh, micromanagey for me, and but overall, I, I did enjoy it. Maybe someday. I'm probably doing Wolfenstein next. Wolfenstein! Look at this! Shoot the Nazis! Wolfenstein. You get these big-ass guns. Just shoot Nazis. Uh, you know what? I didn't pick these up my first run. I was just using the guns they gave me like a sucker. Look at these things. Look at these awesome guns that you get. I've got a big old gun. I will shoot the Nazis. Hey, ho, Nazi go. Do, 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 do. Hey ho, the Nazis go. Splat, splat, splat. Why don't you guys enable cheering slash bits? We could. Uh, Wouldn't that be redundant at this point? Well, so currently we do not enable cheering slash bits uh, because we do other things like tips. Uh, if. If we hear from enough of you, so what I'm hearing here is um, that you want us to enable cheering and bits. If we hear from enough of you that you want us to enable cheering and bits, we will. But at the time, we just don't want to clutter up chat too much because that's just another thing in chat. But if we hear that people want that, yes, of course. Any, I mean, listen, we will do anything for money. I think we've been <laughs> really clear about that over our entire career. At some point, it seems just sleazy if it's just too much. Yeah, buy the bits, buy the tips, buy the subs, buy the dubs. Buy, we buy got the G's, buy the cheese. We got all the cheese and D's and dubs and, and wubs. All the, all the wubs dubs. But, yeah, right now, we don't really need it because we do this tip thing and... Buy the shout out, buy the shout down! But, ooh, you want to shout down? That'll cost you twice. And we'll make fun of you. Give us money to take you downtown! <laughs> if you pay us $5, we'll say, hey, how's it going? You seem like a nice fella. If you pay us $10, we'll call you a motherfucker. <laughs> so you want, you want money, but you don't want to be a shill. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a tightrope act is what it is, Jack. Tight rope back. I don't think it's that tight, man. I'll do whatever. <laughs> Certain regions can get bits for free, so it's a way to for cheap skates to give us money for free. Okay, yeah, no, and that's what I'm saying. If if we hear from enough of you that bits are something you want, we will absolutely do it. Bits are basically Twitch's way of cutting into PayPal. Because, you know, right now we get tips through PayPal. Pay yeah. PayPal takes a little cut of that, of course. Uh, if you if we go to Bits, all that money goes through Twitch, and Twitch takes a little bit of it. Yeah. Which, of course, Twitch wants. It might be easier for some people. If we hear it, we'll do it. 
That's all I got. Frantic girl says, "I'm a bit obsessed with Bloodborne right now." Yeah, as he should be. Curious. As he fucking should be. How far did each of you guys get in the game? Beat Finish it. the chalice dungeons. Beat the secret final boss. Finish the DLC. Love to see you play more. It's been a while since we've played it. Uh, I haven't beaten any of the channel dungeons. I beat the regular game. I didn't beat the secret boss, but I beat the regular game. And I am at the Orphan of Koss uh, on the DLC, who is the, the bad guy for the DLC. Oh. Fuck you, fuck you. I never, I, never, I never got that far in the DLC. Oh, really? That's great. Just, just other things. Oh, of course. It's uh, great. And... And not really in the Chalice, dun Chalice Dungeons either. Yeah, the Chalice Dungeons didn't do it for me. I don't hate them. I like the Chalice Dungeons. Oh, you know what? They just, you know, they got too repetitive world-wise. Like, yeah. just look-wise. So. Oh. Who that? Anonymous says, Can we please officially refer to the films as trans fibers from now on? <laughs> That joke is more innovative than anything in the actual movies. You can go, you can go right ahead and do that. I like Transfibers. Yeah, no one else is gonna die today. Oh, Transformers! They got they got their their whole transforming thing, man. They, oh. Autobots roll out. Yes, Sam. Sam Bumblebee wants me to tell you to stop farting inside of him. It's disgusting, Sam. While he appreciates all the work you've done for us, Transformer Sam, you're ruining his leather interior. That's his shoulder. You should know that. It stinks. For everyone, Autobots, roll out. Autobots! He told me you, you ate a bunch of burritos and wanted to drive across town, Sam. It's, it's almost ruined. like you're doing it on purpose, Sam. Save that shit for outside. Die, Nazi scum! Stab the Nazi dog! Goodbye. Shit. Eat this, fuckos! <laughs> OV Deus says, Hi, guys. Just want top let you know I love your stream, but rarely get to watch you live. Cheers from Norway. LOL. Fuck my Tums Formers Festival. You're welcome. Thank you. Tums Formers. Nice. Rich. It's not a poor doggo. That's a Nazi dog. He can die like the rest of them. Yeah. It's yeah. a fucking Nazi. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Jerbznator. Yes, I know I can dual wield the machine guns. I actually don't like it as much. I no? don't like dual wielding as much. It was like highly inaccurate. What's it's highly inaccurate, and and you have to change. So then it's no longer just pressing one button to deal do both. You press buttons for f firing each of them. Okay. okay. And and I much prefer like kind of looking down the iron scope, and you know that's that's how I like it. But I I, I appreciate the little it's first person sure looking down the look, scope. Yeah, look at that. See that? Yeah, it's bullshit. Look at that iron scope. Take it down. Iron sight. Take it down. Oop. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's uh, the fucking it, difference? It recoils less like this, and so I, it's an it's an easier <laughs> shot. I and I like the iron sights. I like Doom because I don't need to use a fucking scope. Doom! A fucking running gun. Oh, is this the obligatory stealth section? Eh, we've had a couple of these. Do I do something with that? I tried to run and gun this last time, and it did not work that well. So we're gonna try a different approach. If we take out the commanders, shit. It's on now. Yep. Shit, 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 shit. This guy. Take out that fuck and that fuck. 
Is it, is it just me, or are the designs for the modern Transformers messy and all look alike? No, you're you're on the money. Sam. Sam, this is my face. You might have trouble being able to tell, but that's a face. <laughs> Die, Nazi scum! Oh, shit. Oh, you stupid... Go to the bottom. There we go. Bring that back out. Ow. Oh, you know what? I realize I, realize I want to trade something. God, why, why am I... Touch screens are the worst. Huh? Touch screens are the worst. Uh, yeah. Well, they can be. You know what? It's It has less to do with the touch screen and more to do with, uh, with the application surrounding them, right? I want to tr change it up. Hold on. Cont uh, controls, key bindings, reload. I much prefer reload to be this. That's what I want reload to be. And then I want, um, I want use to be this. Great. Dister says, hey guys, I'm disappointed about wandering souls. But I appreciate you being honest instead of egging me on. I'll stop bugging you about it. Keep up with the great streams. You guys are entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. We, you know what? We appreciate that you understand where we're coming from. Locked. Lost in Technicolor says, I'm always curious to see how bad a Bay movie can get. So yes... I watched an online copy of T5. <gasps> I lost my shit during the end credits when there were six credited editors. Those poor people. Six credited editors. Shit. <laughs> Damn Nazi dog. <laughs> Texas Panhandler says, Spider-Man is getting great reviews. Yeah. When's that coming out? Is that early July? 7th. July 7th, 7th okay. I want to say. I'm getting excited as a Spidey fan. Yeah. Are you feeling any hype at all, or are you just over it? Also, the Transformers videos were great. <laughs> Keep up the great work, guys. My, my hype level is... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not hyped, but I'm not hating on the movie either. I'll, I'll probably end up going to see it. Sure. But the hype levels are low. You, you, It'll it, probably be good. I mean, it kind of has... The hype level kind of has to be low because, you know, you never know. But... We, we can hope. I'm nowhere near as hyped as I am for DuckTales. And that's not a joke. I know that about you. Fucking dogs! It's going to be Rich's favorite Spider-Man movie? That's very likely, because I don't really like any of them. I kind of didn't like Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I hated Andrew Garfield. Tobey Maguire wasn't bad. I... <laughs> it felt less like Spider-Man and more like a 50s sitcom. It, made... it was a 50s sitcom take on Spider-Man. That's what Spider-Man was. It's not it a 50s sense. sitcom. Oh, shit. Die! I'll, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'll be fine. You know... Y yes, chap, there is a new DuckTales. <laughs> Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is fine. Scrooge McDuck will now be played by David Tennant. Yes! The AKA Doctor! AKA The Doctor. The... Oh, shit, where am I going? You can't say the doctor. You can't. The doctor. I'm gonna put my foot down and say you can't. There's been the... there's been eighty people who have had that role. That's true. Some of them for a lot longer. That's true. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I guess I'm going that way. Thanks for pointing the way, Dick. Spider-Man was about how far you could push a young man before he snapped. It was not a sitcom. Yes! Yes, that is an incredibly accurate statement. This 
Spider-Man was about ups and downs. And just, it's just, it's just, it's Toby. It's just, it, for me, it's just Toby. You still, you're not a fan of the Toby? No. I see him on screen playing Peter Parker. I expect him at any moment to say, well, golly, Mrs. Beaver. But that's like, that's what he was playing. Like, that's, you know, that was the, that was the thing. I, I, like, That's what he was playing. That's not how I see Peter Parker. Sure, I get like to me it made sense. It made sense in the world of Sam Raimi Spider Man and Spider Man Two is so fucking good. This, yeah, I'm not, look, this isn't. They are completely one hundred percent terrible all of the time. Right. This is. I just. I, I'm not a huge fan of that performance. That's all. Okay. That's fair. I want that. I want that gun. There we go. Rich Evans hates Pleasantville? No, it was a fine performance for Pleasantville. That's... That's, that's what Pleasantville was all about. Makes right. sense. I, I think that's cool. that's exactly the point Rich is making. Is Ple Pleasantville and Spider-Man don't necessarily belong together. I'll, you know, I'll disagree because I, I think there's more good in those movies than not good. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Oh shit! Oh, you threw that right on my head, man. Right on my goddamn head. Yeah, and the Andrew Garfield ones. Were, I mean, those were a goddamn mess. Those, those amazing, the uh, amazing Spider-Man ones. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I like this kid. This kid. Uh, What's his name again? Do, do oh, I don't remember. Tom Holland. Right? Tom Holland. Nice. Tom Holland uh, plays a, a really good Peter Parker. I'm excited that they're going young Peter Parker again. I like that they're giving him an inferiority complex right off the bat. <laughs> like, it looks like they're doing a lot of things right. Looks like they're doing a lot of things right. Oh, what do you, what do you want to bet that you're not going to get over? Something is going to go horribly wrong here. No, I just need to leave my gun. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah, I see him. Rich, don't you love comic Spider-Man is a Mark Zuckerberg style sin Well, new, uh, now Peter Parker is a Zuckerberg style Silicon Valley billionaire. Yeah. I haven't been reading the books for many years, so right. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that shit. Yeah, modern Spider-Man, he's a little, he's different. He's running Parker Industries. Oh, look at this. Look at this stuff. Rich, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Gross. Gross. The guy that played Venom in Spidey 3 was a joke. Venom's a badass. Fun, fun fact? Sam Raimi hated Venom. And it was a bad choice for those movies. Which felt like a 50s sitcom, making Venom completely out of place. Yes. And I believe he was cast in protest by Sam Raimi. Yes, yes. No, Sam Raimi uh, vocally and vehemently fought against uh, Venom in the he, movie. He was right within the context of the movies he was making, that Venom did not have any fucking place in that Sam Raimi Spider-Man universe. Right. Raimi, Raimi, I can't pronounce things, it's yeah, fine. You know, one of those. Come on. Oh, fuck, that's right. Come on, Gimpers, let's go. I really don't get the appeal of Venom. He looks badass. I wish Spider-Man had kept, not not the symbiote, but just that, that style of costume. The black suit? The black and white suit is just a great fucking look. Yes. He should have kept it. It's not Spider-Man. No, it, it was Spider-Man for years, actually. It's not, it's not the Spider-Man I like. Oh, shit. There was a period when he kind of like, it just 
change costumes every now and then. Sure, sure. One issue was the black one, one issue was the red one. You know, I I prefer I prefer bright, colorful Spider-Man. People hated the black suit. Yeah, I hated it when I was a kid, because it wasn't what I knew. Uh, it grew on me over time, though. I, I think it's a great costume. Hmm. I mean, I'm uh, you know, it's that's just, to me, that's not, the costume is not Peter Parker, right? Like, I, I really dig the, uh, the Miles Morales black and red Spider-Man suit. Yeah. I dig that, and it kind of works for the character, because, like, he's very, he's, like, he has uh, stealth powers. He has uh, mm -hmm. invisibility powers. And so, like, to me, that works. But Spider-Man being, like, the big, colorful, joking, like, wee kind of guy. You don't, you, you can't say we. You can't say we while you're swinging through the air while wearing an all-black outfit. You know what I'm saying? Well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, theoretically, yes. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you're not going to do the whole illusion of change thing, which is what Marvel has done. Well, but, I mean, if you're going to have actual character development yeah. in Marvel Comics, and they would never do that, I, I know this. But that's a that's a great, like, sign of, like, just a visual representation of Peter Parker getting more mature. Sure, a new, a new more the mature new, suit. The new more sure. mature suit. You know what? I will agree with you on yeah. that point. They just don't do that. Yeah, people. I know they don't. Yeah. I know they don't. What if he's saying we ironically, right? <laughs> no, but, you know, like, black, you know, like, visual style, especially in comics, is so important. Like, you know, the Punisher, he wears all black. That man is not fun. <laughs> you know? That's just what he does. Nick Fury, like, Samuel L. Jackson is Nick Fury, all here's, black. Here's the thing. Spider-Man, though, isn't all fun in games all the time. He's not. Gwen, he's not. Gwen Stacy gets thrown off a bridge and he accidentally snaps her neck. Right. He's going to be wearing a black costume for a while. <laughs> <laughs> right. It may die. He's not yeah. feeling so chipper. Black costume. That's And by the way, he wears the black costume and criminals, criminals just go, you know what? Yeah, we're not dealing with Spidey yet today. <laughs> we're, not, we're just not going to deal with Spider-Man today. <laughs> How did Spider-Man get the black suit? The symbiote. Secret War. Crossover. Alien planet. Special machine. He used the wrong one. He didn't use the machine that gave you costumes. Apparently there was also a machine that gave you parasites. He is thought that, the parasite was a costume. Is That's that how, how it happened. Original? That's how it happened. Really? I'm he, not remembering. He used the wrong machine. Because <laughs> apparently they had a machine right next to the costume machine that was a machine that apparently distributed parasites. Sure. That's the actual origin. I like it. But and then it gave him more like he was more powerful, he was stronger, but No. no. What, not the that's, original? that's some bullshit that they came up with in other continuities. The oh. only Here's what the suit did. Yeah. It didn't enhance his strength at all or his agility at all. It had it made its own webbing, so he didn't need his web shooters. Oh, the web shooters were built into the symbiote. It's cost and saving. I love it. It could change shape, so he could just make it look like normal clothes. Ooh. So he could change costumes on a dime. Oh, wait, shit, I forgot. But it did not make him stronger or faster or more aggressive or any of that other bullshit. They added that later. It was added in later on for, like, the cartoon or for the Ultimate yeah, Universe or for the movie. That. Okay, hold on for a second. I, I have to choose which one dies. My... Hold on. I wonder which we pray. Your stubbornness or my patience. The task? Okay, hold on. You need only look to the one you would have me choose. Okay, so I need to choose who dies, my old friend or the new kid. Uh, I'm going to kill the new kid because uh, last time I, on the game I'm playing, I killed my old friend so the new kid could live. And so now I'm curious as to how the story changes. Okay. So. He's, the, he's the young kid. Now he's killing the kid. General, that's it. Today he's teaching me a lesson. 
Alright, now we can skip. Seen suffering and death. Skip. People maimed and tortured. There we go. I'm gonna try something. It barely changes? Yeah, who'd have guessed that? <laughs> Yeah, later on, uh, the kid was part of the resistance, and he gives a little speech about how I should have chosen the other guy, so I can only assume what'll happen is, uh, later on in the resistance, I'll see this guy, and he says, You should have chosen the other guy! Of course. So, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. Chris Collins says, Here is anime in a nutshell, and there's a link with an image that I will check out later. Love you and all of the RLM gang. Thanks for the fun. I don't know, let's get to see it. I'll click on it now. It's probably just some kind of discor horrible, disgusting hentai shit. Or maybe it's just an ultra cutesy. God damn it. Sexualized teenage girls. I don't. I don't know. Yep. Both. Great. <laughs> I'm here. Bill LaHecka says, How the hell did people not enjoy the Transformers reviews from you guys? They gave me more entertainment and enjoyment than the last five Transformers movies combined. People don't get jokes. It's true. Oh, interesting. So, by the way, when I saved the kid, I had to pick a lock. I learned how to pick locks. Yeah. Here, because I saved the other one, I'm learning how to hotwire. Huh. Interesting. So, you know what? Pretty different. What? Oh, get out of here? Okay. So, you know what? Different. What? Great. Great. Press N to break those cuffs. Right. What happened to the kid? Uh, the evil, the evil German scientist killed him by removing his eyes while he was still awake. Uh, you know, it is. I don't mind the story. I don't mind it. It's actually really interesting. I'm about to skip a whole bunch of it, but I'll paraphrase. So we just got a bunch of shrapnel in our head, right? Yeah. And so we spend the next 16 years in a mental hospital in Poland. And while we're there, we fall in love with our nurse and finally wake up when the Germans come to shut down the mental hospital. And we save our lady friend... Um, and we joined the resistance. Why, why you spoil it all for me? Because I haven't played this yet. Why you just spoil the whole fucking game, Jack? I told you I was. I, <laughs> I, I literally <laughs> said I'm about, I'm about to spoil it. <laughs> so how about you start listening? All right. In the chat, Kender Soup saying, I'm assuming this is referring to the Trans Fivers 5 videos. Yeah. It's like giving your kids empty gift boxes for Christmas. Then when he cries, you say, can't you take a joke? No, that is a poor analogy, because you expect to get a gift on Christmas. This, there is no Christmas. This is just a random day of the week. I wake up and I give you a box. And ah, it's empty. But you weren't right. expecting to get the box but, in the first place. But other days of the week, you get boxes with shit in it. Like, <laughs> with stuff, right. like, with presents and stuff right. in it. Like, just randomly, like, you know, you get a box of the present. Hey, look, a present. Some, some... Now, now, if we put up ads yeah. for, like, um, two months ahead of time, new Plinket review, Transformers 5, the Plinket review is coming, yep. Plinket is returning, then your analogy would be apt. Yeah. But there was no Christmas to get excited about the gift ahead of time. Right. Or if, say, like, you know, and, you know maybe pa Patreon backers mm -hmm. are upset because, you know, like, it wasn't a real review. And then you would have a case only if RLM regularly uploaded. Like, let's say they made, you made one video a week, and then you wasted your one video on a fake video, then maybe. But these were bonuses. What, do we have something like six videos up this month before we put up the Transformers video? Exactly. Stop it. Nobody's getting cheated out of anything. Exactly. Okay, here it is. Now we're at the end. Oh, I can't skip this. That's right. I can move my head, so it's not a cutscene. We are taking all of your sickies now. That is what we are doing. Oh, 
Uh, that's that's my girlfriend's dad, and that's my girlfriend's mom right there. Okay. So they're dead. That's my girlfriend down there. She's not my girlfriend yet because uh, I've been in a coma for 16 years, but you know. 16, huh? 16 years. Wow. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's 16 years of your life that's just fucking gone, Jack. Yeah. Oh, the prime. I mean, I was a young man. That was the prime of my life right there. It's like the plot to Hard to Kill. Steven Seagal movie. Oh, right. I was like, Hard to Kill. Why do I know that? Nazi scum. Where'd they take you? 16 years, but he still looks the same. It's a, it's a video game. I considered packing RLM on Patreon, but I couldn't find the tier where I get cartoon porn like you can in every other Patreon. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of Patreons for like people like people who draw stuff and yeah they draw weird stuff and you can, you can get all right you all can right get custom Tur Turbo Jesus five thousand says you can get I, I've seen that before yeah yeah G Willikers yeah G Willikers you guys make swell content sure do you could punch one movie character right in the fucking face who would it be well Hitler's been a character in movies he's a candidate. Shit. But I don't think that's in the spirit of the question. Damn it. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was dying. You could punch one character from a movie, who would it be? Right in the f punch them right in the fucking face. Do they get to hit you back? I I they might be really tough. I assume you get a sucker punch, in which case you could run away. <laughs> or you know what? Let's just make it fair. No, they don't get to hit you back. Okay. You get to sucker punch them and then magically go away. Who, who's most worth of just a sucker punch right in the fucking face? There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of dickheads out there. I, mean, I like Aliens. So Paul Reiser from Aliens. Ooh, yeah. It's not a bad one, but... Jar Jar, I don't give enough of a fuck about Star Wars. Jar Jar was just doing his own thing. I'm not wasting my punch, Jar Jar. Right? He ruined something I haven't cared about in 20 years. What? Oh, shit. Shit. Jenny from Forrest Gump. Look, AIDS is enough of a punch to the face. <laughs> that, that girl has it bad enough. Right? You leave Jenny alone. She gave Forrest a, a, the gift of a child. You know, she, she could have, like, given him a, a bit of a heads up. Well, you know, I guess. The, the man can barely read. I don't blame her. If you, like, be in Jenny's shoes, okay? You have a child from Forrest <laughs> fucking Gump. Alright? What do you, what do you do there? I'll tell you what you do. You, you, you give that kid some space, you let that kid learn away from his father. I've been spending denim nearly every single day. Do, 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 do. Where the fuck am I going? Rich, any idea? No, I've never played this game. <sighs> Is it this? Vostroya15 says, hi guys. Hi. One question for each of you. Okay, great. Rich, what are some retro PC games that you could recommend, i.e. TIE Fighter, etc.? Jack, around how much time do you usually spend at RLM versus your editing job? Uh, that's a fair question. Uh, Rich, classic game first? Um, I'll think about it. You were asked first. Um, I know I was asked first, but you can, uh, you oh, can sure. spend some time thinking too if you want. Sure. Well, no, I mean, because mine's really easy. Like, okay... If we're not shooting a best of the worst, I am only here for streams. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, what's that? Eight, nine hours. I think that's where I came from. 
eight, nine hours a week, because, uh, like I said, just for streams. Uh, if we're sh and then, you know, I'm only here when we're shooting something, so, you know, if it's the best of the worst, then, you know, I'm here for that. Um, editing other projects at home, you know, usually takes... So, so I'm, I'm home most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right, my question, what retro PC games would I recommend? I think most people know I'm fond of the old Sierra Parser games. But uh, I don't know if that's quite what you're looking for. Uh, Mech Warrior 1 and 2 yeah. are both fine games. Mech Warrior 1 and 2. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, technically, Mech Warrior 2 is a lot better. I like how Mech Warrior 1 handles its story, which is... 100% optional and easy to miss. Shit. Shit. You could you could you could play all of Mech Warrior 1 just like a person who owns a mercenary business and you could completely not know there's a story to be had. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Mech Commander? No, I'm talking specifically about Mech Warrior. I've not played Mech Commander. Mech Warrior 1, and uh, I said Mech Warrior 2, but I'm thinking specifically of Mercenaries, I guess. Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. <clears throat> I didn't care much for the clan, and that's who you play as in straight up vanilla Mech Warrior 2. They're lame. They have a lame warrior honor culture bullshit going on. Oh, the Klingon? Yeah, they're, they're, they're space Klingons. Oh, yep. Bye! I'll, I'll, I'll take the mercenary commander any day of the week over the space Klingon. Uh, that's fair. For my escapist fantasy. You know what? Totally fair. Oh, here we go. Nice assault rifle. Space Klingons? Yeah, Space Klingons are, are just Klingons. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Now that you say that, that is totally <laughs> redundant. But I'll allow it. How about that? We allowed it. <laughs> Mech Klingons. <laughs> sure. Sh oh, where did you dickheads come also, from? Also, it might be hard to track down. I was kind of fond of a game called Stunts. Stunts! You, you know Stunts? No. Oh. I just like saying stunts. Stunts! You can, you can make your own tracks. Like, build them from scratch. Stunts is great. Alright. Shit. Fuck. I'm sucking, Rich. Oh, fuck. Gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Ah, yep, there it is. Fuck. One guy left. One guy left. Stunts! You are so bad at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm out of my element. I'm talking. I'm using a different mouse. All the excuses that I that one can give. Stunts has spent a lot of time designing bad racetracks that it was very easy to just fly off of and, and have horrible crashes in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just for shites and gaggles? Yes. Oh, look at this. Jack, there's a secret area under the crack in the stairs. I saw, I saw, I, or I tried to see that earlier, but I, I couldn't find it. Nope. Will Wolfenstein 2 delve more into Doom 16's formula? Uh, hopefully. Probably. Hopefully. And you know, uh, while I, I'm enjoying Wolfenstein, um, it's de yeah, I mean, it's no Doom. Which, you know, what is, right? I mean, yeah. just Doom. Oops. Justin Voorhees says, I called in sick, fr uh, sick from work because I knew you were streaming tonight. Just kidding, it was my crippling depression and suicidal thoughts that did that. Yay, I get it. You guys streaming tonight is a happy accident. Thank you, Justin Voorhees. Thank you. 
JP versus the world says hi, Rich, and hi, Jack. Okay, there's a crack under the stairs. Did you get your case of Tums from Amazon last week? Kind of felt bad for giving you grief, but then I got three fake Transfivers videos shortly after, so I guess we're even. I hope more people keep, as a lark, sending me in Tums. Oh, yeah, that'd be a I've had I've had heartburn issues my entire damn life. That'd be a great I, I'm going to get a lot of use out of those Tums. That'd be a great joke. In fact, if people keep sending me Tums, only one big care package so far, but if this becomes a regular thing, I'm going to insist Jay does the Tums Festival joke again. Just, just so, so I can get more Tums. Uh, I don't see any crack in the stair thing. People who are tell telling me they look for cracks in the stairs. Like, I see this. What am I supposed to do here, people? There's a secret, apparently. But I don't really see a... It just reads the thing. Yeah, I know. I'm Is there a different stairs? Uh, other stairs. Other stairs? Other stairs. All right, hold on. There's other stairs. Doobie Sandwich says, I know you guys use Skype to contact each other, but do you plan to replace it with Discord? People said swell things about Discord. Also, do you know your channel is verified by Twitch? Congrats! Uh, yes, I did know our channel was verified by Twitch because... That was early on, wasn't it? No, well, they, I mean, we, we had to get partnered. Oh, oh, yeah but, yeah. but now, much like Twitter or YouTube, we got officially verified. Okay. And, and all that means is... Yes, we are us. <laughs> yes, we are us, I guess. <laughs> yes. But, like, honestly, I didn't have to do anything. Like, they just said, do you want to verify your channel? And I said, yes. I don't see... No, those... those... Guys, I don't see other stairs. And There's as far a broken as... step you can look... There's a broken step I can look down and see a lock. I, well, you know, they told me there's a secret. Now I kind of yeah, now I kind of want to find it. As far as using Skype to contact each other? Like almost never. Uh, what you back in the day when like I would do a stream from home and Rich yeah. would call in for the sake of streaming, but that wasn't how we communicated. No, we have telephones for. Yeah. That. Okay, there's a broken step. Other stairs from the main floor. Other stairs from the main floor. Back downstairs through that little kitchen. Through the little kitchen. Okay. I want to watch where this is for when I play this. Right. Then I won't have to go through this shit. Oh, here we go. There's other stairs. Okay, so there's broken... Wait, down further. Yeah, I, think a... I thought I saw it at, at the turn. Oh, there we go. So now a little red... I think you shoot... The... No, I think you shoot it from the stairs. You shoot the lock. Ah, all right. I don't want to waste that ammo. Oh, apparently I have no more of that ammo, so I have to. Anonymous says, huge fan. Love the suggestion of improv to our friend with stage fright. Have, have either of you ever yeah. taken an improv class or performed? What about stand-up? What was your experience like? Thanks. I have never done improv or stand-up. I've known someone who tried to show a group their stand-up act, and it was embarrassing. Oh. Horribly embarrassing. The most horrible silence I have ever heard in my entire life. But that person was not you. No, no one's seen my stand-up. I've told you my horrible jokes. Yeah. I've told you all of my horrible jokes. Uh, yeah, no, and I, I actually, that's where I got my start, is in improv in Comedy Sports Milwaukee. 
and it has helped me more than anything else. Like just, just to be confident in my own ideas, like doing improv and working out scenes on stage. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And it, it makes me upset that I'm not doing it uh, anymore. I just don't have time to do it. I would love to do more improv. I, but, but they have classes. And it's like, you, know, you, you take like two months and you go once a week and you do classes and there's a show at the end of the class. I have never, ever seen his act. I am, I am. Oh, this person who did a. I am avoiding it because I know I would have to be honest. He could be great for all I really know. Uh huh. My brother has dabbled in stand up. <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. Die, Nazi scum. Come here. And I have gone completely out of my way to not see his act. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Yeah. The other person I'm talking about is somebody you don't know. It is not, it is not an RLM member that had the embarrassing stand-up routine. Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown Adam Sandler says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any excitement for Baby Driver? Edgar Wright, a whole movie choreogra uh, choreographed music also? I don't know if you like the Apes movies, but I love the first two, and the third is getting great reviews. You know, I've never seen... I haven't seen any of the new Planet of the Apes movie. Zuh. I might end up seeing the Edgar Wright one at some point. Yeah, I like, I like Edgar Wright in general. I, I underestimated uh, Hot Fuzz. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I underestimated the fuck out of that movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. You sure did. Hot Fox is great. How come he can walk? He's been in a coma for 16 years. His muscles should be jelly. She's been rubbing his legs every day for 16 years, and that's why he loves her. Also, she's the girl, so that's why that's the other reason. That doesn't explain how he can walk. I don't care if she's been rubbing his leg a little bit. It's not the same. He's he's the he's the he's Blaskowitz, man. His name has a has a dynamite sound in it. Blastowitz. Great. Look at him. Look at him. He's a madman. He's an absolute madman, and I love him. Any thoughts on the Apes movies? Yeah, do you have any? Have you seen any of the new Planet no, of the I Apes haven't. movies? No, I saw the original. I love that. Oh, the, the old yeah, Charles and Hesse? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's funny. That's, you know what? Those are fun movies. Uh, I have not seen any of the new ones, but I keep hearing that they're okay. I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, they're okay. <laughs> Blastowitz. Wherever. Watch them, dang it. The Apes movies? Eh, I don't care that much. I just don't. I just don't care about the Apes movies that much. I'm more interested. I would much rather spend my time seeing Baby Driver than I would seeing the Apes movies. Baby Driver! Why aren't the cutscenes first person? Because they're cutscenes. Come on, man. Get it together. Get it together. Do do do. All right, enjoy the cutscene. I'm gonna go get another beverage. All right. The blue prism says, "Hey guys." Hi, blue prism. I forgot to ask him my earlier tip. Okay. Do you think that River City Ransom is worth ten dollars on the Steam sale? I'm on the fence whether I should grab it or not. What do you recommend? How, how do you feel about old school brawlers? If you like the no, if you like the original River City Ransom, you'll 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 love it. It's like a more advanced version of that. It's it's a bit grindy. 
I'll, I'll complain about that. It is a little bit grindy. Michael Cody CA says, Hey, Jack and Rich. For the 10K time, 10,000. Thanks for everything. Fuck the haters. I laugh my ass off during the Trans Fivers videos. Play Sierra games, you fucks. We'll, we'll very likely play Sierra games again at some point, and thank you for your support. Anonymous says, hello to Milwaukee's favorite sons. Thank you for introducing me to XCOM, but I'm absolutely atrocious, and every mission turns into Operation Into the Frying Pan. By the way, the TF vids were brilliant. Um, if you're having trouble with XCOM, there's, there's no shame into kicking it into a lower difficulty on, until you just kind of get used to the uh, the gameplay. No shame in that. Also, um, good cover is important. If you're talking about the reboot XCOM, it might be easy to get behind that, that half shield and think, ah, oh, I'm being protected, but that half shield is really terrible cover. It's the full, it's the full shield high cover is really what you're looking for. Talking XCOM? Oh, yeah, you need that full cover, man. You just need it. The shoe came on time. The half cover, that's like a situation where it's better than nothing. And, uh, yeah, take it slow. Take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Half cover is lies. It, pretty much. It, it's, you know... You have, you have time to in analyze the situation before making your first move of the turn, too. You have my word on this. Ah, yeah, there we go. Got to get my blood, uh, you know, little thing to protect. Are you going to take a chainsaw out of that filthy Nazi? Uh, that's the plan. I have to torture him for information. But first, I need... Do they actually let you torture him? Huh? Do they actually let you torture him? No, off camera in a cutscene. No! No! First, I need proper eye protection. Cutscene? Really? Jesus Christ. I do get to punch him a little bit. And cutscene. Let me tell you how this is gonna work. A lot of cutscenes, Rich. A lot of cutscenes. You are gonna answer that question in a way I find satisfying. And uh, again, the story, the characters are, are fun. The story is good. The levels are kind of short, and there's a lot of cutscenes. So here it comes. Is my official Wolfenstein New Order uh, review. I'm only like I'm five, maybe six hours in, so like I'm well past this, and it doesn't really change. You do you do a mission, you have a cutscene. You do a mission, you have a cutscene. Some of them are fun. Some of them are real fun. Some of the cutscenes. But you know we don't want to spoil it for Rich. We'll skip it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Grandpa Yay! shot himself a Nazi. <laughs> shot him in his goddamn face. So Grandpa is shooting all the Nazis, cause they're a national disgrace. People want people want subtitles. They they're on. They're on. Yeah, they are on. What the fuck? 